Hey y'all, welcome to Classroom Sev Day. Four, my mom's calling me. My name is Jamaica, I'm a mommy and teacher from Tennessee. It is Life with Miss Jamaica and we're in Classroom Setup Day Four. <laughs> so, happy Classroom Setup Day Four. We're here. We have things on the table because um, I was lucky enough to work with Lakeshore and I went shopping at the Lakeshore store in Memphis. So, I got a lot of cool stuff from there that I need to find a place for because I don't really want to do my dramatic play just yet because I don't like having that out when the kids come from me the teacher because it gets all messy so I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I think I might just put the boxes over there and then know what I'm gonna put on the shelf I think that makes sense hold on my video is almost done uploading to Instagram because I recorded an outfit of the day I think it's cute I have these overalls on from Timu this little seamless tank is from Target my earrings are Mrs. Frizzle earrings I don't know where I got them from um focus on mrs frizzle <gasps> there she is there she is um and then i have a little bow on my hair so yes i feel like a little like a painter but like a cute painter if that makes sense but i'm so happy you guys are here i'm so happy you guys are enjoying the classroom setups again i will forever be sorry that classroom setup day one was terrible audio it wasn't my fault if you ask me but it's okay so yes but let's get started on everything also i got an exciting package today office depot sent me a gift for back to school season so we'll open that before we leave but we need to go ahead and hit the ground running so first i'm going to unbox all these bags get everything put somewhere and i need to go ahead and figure out this back area because I can't put some of this stuff up without the back area being a little bit more organized. So we're going to go work on the back area, hopefully get everything out of the cubbies today. That can be the goal, get everything out the cubbies. And then I bought some vinyl things. Um, I bought some vinyl numbers on the floor and I also did cut out my name to put on my table up here. So we have those things to do before we get started. Applicator came out with a new flavor. So we're not drinking our coffee today. We've been drinking coffee or matcha the past few days. Today we're going to drink a Spark Energy because I definitely need it. We're going to be trying out this pineapple whip flavor from Spark um, from Applicator. So let's go. And also, Dasani got like new water bottles and they're really cute. So yeah. I like pineapple. It smells good. <laughs> all that powder just hit me it smells like like pineapple cake i was gonna say pineapple whipped cream it's called pineapple whip so that would explain it <laughs> Do it. i think it's so sick and cute for classroom setup day four go sure. follow me on tiktok these okay the pineapple whip is so stinking good so if you haven't tried it i definitely recommend trying it so now let's get the tackling all the mess back here <laughs> So this just made my heart really happy. I was able to give a kindergarten teacher here my little privacy windows. They're from really good stuff and they're the boho colors. They're so cute, but we didn't do anything that need privacy windows in the classroom. So I never really use them other than like at my small group table sometimes. So, but I know they use them in kindergarten a lot and she used to just put like binders up. So I gave her some privacy windows and they're super cute from really good stuff. So it made my heart happy. Found all the good stuff in this this one. That's total. So 
we ran into a problem. So last year in my art center, I had this shelf over there. And I moved this shelf over here because you can already tell that it's leaning. It's, it's really bad. So I didn't want my kids to engage with that shelf anymore because it wasn't like safe for them, obviously. Now, I have this shelf over here. And this shelf is too small. So now, we're gonna have to get another six drawer, a six organizer situation to put over here. So I need to go ahead and try to order that. And we'll bring it up here tomorrow. I think I got that white one from Walmart or Target. So, yes, but because those buckets, those little thingies right there, they go into that shelf to keep all the center things over here. And they won't fit in this little bitty shelf because it's so stinking small. So now we need a new shelf to go there. We love that. So, yeah, but I would rather have that be a problem than like a real problem. So... Thank God, it's just that. <laughs> we will get another shelf, do you hear me? So, we gotta get a new shelf from over here. But right now, I'm gonna just put these on top of this. Well, I'll just put them in here. Because those are all the holders for over here. So now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that shelf because now I don't need it anymore. So we'll figure it out, but let's keep going through this good box because this box has all the good stuff, like all my um, table holder thingies, um, my learning buddies that I have in my classroom. I'm going to find a new place for those. These little Crayola crayons from Wendy's. Um, I put those in the art center. So yes, let's go. I also just finished putting all the um, little chair pockets back on the chairs. They're all from Really Good Stuff and they're the boho colors, just like the colors I just gave the kindergarten teacher in the privacy windows. So let's keep going and do this cover, this cover, this corner. I can't talk, that's embarrassing. Mm. Okay, we have officially made to the point to where it gets worse. Can you see all this stuff? Before it gets better. But we did get the cubbies all cleared up. Um, all the center things are up there in that area. It's not ideal. I think it looks very messy. But um, there's literally nothing else <laughs> that I can do other than have everything just up there. But at least the cubbies are emptied. I'm ready to go for the kids. I do need to put a border right here. I put a border right there and then I put their names up. Um, my TA's new area is all cleaned up. This is ready for their folders. All this is empty, so that's like storage. This door is broken. Only person knows how to close it is my TA and she's not here. So yeah, that's why it keeps opening up. But now we have all this stuff everywhere so i'm gonna clean this up and then we can get to the unboxings of all the fun things but first things first we gotta take care of what comes first which is all this mess i'm so I'm so sad about it okay
we have done so much since the last time I talked to you guys. So the last thing you saw was me again trying to close these doors that don't close. I was cleaning off my table and then my table is all clean except for the things that were going to haul from Lakeshore. But I wanted to walk you through the room because I also took out my little station things that I have um, for Meet the Teacher. I've um, filled up our like whole group learning things. So we've done some things. So I'm gonna show you everything and just walk you through it. And yeah, the last thing I think we're gonna do before I leave is I wanna put my little Bitmoji up here and put the word say cheese because I did do that the other day at home. So here's the front of the room now. I have the clipboards in place also these 10 frame paddles and in the middle I'm going to put these um, just gonna hold on in the middle I'm going to put these they are not going to go here I thought I didn't have room over there these magic boards which are how we're going to do our like letter writing and stuff when we're learning letters so those are going to go in the middle here and this is just how I keep my whole group learning manipulatives just like right in this area please ignore this i still have to replace i'm probably gonna replace all the yellow ones those are the most loved drawers because that's where my blocks stay so that's why they look like that and also my sweater is on the floor i took these out of my back to school tote these are just all like photo drops photo ops whatever the word is for meet the teacher night and i just put like a little background on the board and they can get up on the stage and take pictures of meet the teacher this area is not ready yet i feel like it's a little tight over here um but i don't know what to change just yet i'm moving these pencils right now i don't know maybe that'll help it out a little bit because this is where my kids will come to make their lunch choice so will be two lunch choices sticking out their pictures will be in the middle and they'll make their choice there. Um, it most likely will be centered, but I have to put up their buckets. Their bucket fillers are gonna go right here also. So that's how this area is gonna look. I had an idea for this board, I already forgot it. <laughs> I did get this from Lakeshore when I went to the Lakeshore store. This is all trash that needs to get out of the room. I haven't been able to do the morning bins because I need to get the trash out of here. And then when you come this way, this is also going to also serve as my VIP table when we're in whole group learning time. So my VIPs of the week will be able to sit here um, during circle time. They don't have to sit crisscross. They can sit here and it'll be like cool little things in a VIP tub for them. And then I put out my station frames. So my Meet the Teacher, I run it in stations. We'll definitely talk about that a whole lot more when we get close to meet the teacher time we're almost there though i put these two magnetic bins here i want to make this interactive some sort of way i'm still thinking about it though and i put like the types of lines here because of course back to school season you're only worried about them trying to write lines those buckets are still there because of course i have to get another shelf for here that still looks the same the station three bucket is there that's some stuff i have to film for lakeshore so that's why it's there it's all about the alphabet so it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Follow me on Instagram. Well, follow Lakeshore because they post the content to their pages. That bucket is right there. And I need that bucket. So happy I just saw that. Or maybe I didn't have it there. I don't know. Um, that station's there. We started on the ice cream shop like a little bit. I put these here. These will go here. I think I'm going to put some pom-poms over here. And they can like scoop the pom-poms into the cups. And I put a little, I turned the kitchen around. Put this little sprinkles um, tablecloth here and I stuck two aprons on there for the people that come to the flower shop and then these flower shop ice cream shop and then these are more things that will go into the ice cream shop. I put this um, awning right here. If you remember it was up there and I did not like it so I put it right here. I'm going to put the other one right there most likely just why I have the velcro dots right there even though we might not get to that today. Um, the art center still looks the same kind of, I put the crayons up here and the book, the day to quit, the, the, the day the crayons quit. I can't talk anymore. I put these, um, metal organizers that from really good stuff right here. And I'm going to organize the uh, construction paper into these. So based off the color that they want. And then this is from Lakeshore, a trace and draw projector. There is a plug-in over here. So it's great. So we can go right here and they can use that there. Um, and now we're back over here. So 
looks super good um all the chair covers are on there like if my kids if my parents had to come in like you know and see some stuff i wouldn't be too worried because it looks so good it makes my heart so happy so yes that's what we got done so now let's do this lakeshore haul so i can put this stuff where it goes and then we're gonna put up my little um bitmoji so i am here is everything that i got from lakeshore let me make y'all a little taller okay so again i'm doing an ice cream shop so i got a lot of things for the ice cream shop but then i got things for um i got something for the library because the back to school season with the seafood curriculum we focus a lot on goldilocks and the three bears and they have this smaller like lap tailing felt sheet so I got this with the different felt pieces. And of course I got Goldilocks and the Three Bears since that's so important in our curriculum. Then I got the Three Little Pigs because that's like a basic story. And I usually do that story for portfolio. So if you do portfolio, there's an idea. I'm gonna put that in the library. I also got, I bought this from Walmart. This is just some um, treasure box things. So that needs to go in the closet over there. I got this ice cream um, situation to put into the ice cream shop, of course, that we're doing in the dramatic play area. It's like magnetic and super cool. So super excited about this. I got one green bucket because I was missing one green bucket over here. So we have our green bucket now. And then I got these um, name tags for back to school season. Hello, my name is Boop. I'm probably not gonna like this though because it won't tell people that they're in my classroom. So yeah, I got these. They were cute. Now they're not practical. Now I don't like them anymore. Then to keep going with the ice cream theme, I did get this um, counting cones and they have a number on the cone and then they put that many scoops on there. So super sick and cute, going in an ice cream shop to make it practical and like learning wise, of course. Ooh, got the letter cones to go over there. This big magnetic tin frame that I'm going to put on my board over here for my like, in my look. Like, oh my gosh, where's my words? In my focus area, area on the board kind of random but i got these bugs because um we do our like flower unit i think it's unit five is my favorite unit so i wanted these bugs i used to have them in my old classroom so when i seen them i was like it's not on brand for what i'm doing but i need them i don't care <laughs> and then i got this this is the last thing i got this um create and design drill kit i thought this would be cute in my science center or my steam center a great hands-on activity for them so super excited about that and lastly i got this big thing of the jumbo crayons i love the jumbo crayons so stinking much so i got these i'm gonna go ahead and fill up all their crayon boxes myself and then the crayons that they bring in for supplies will have it as like extra crayons which makes me so excited because we always need extras so i got those that is all that i got from lakeshore so i'm gonna put all the ice cream stuff for like in the ice cream area not opening anything at all of course because i don't want that chaos on meet the teacher night all right last thing we're gonna do we're gonna get me put onto the wall i didn't know if i want to cut me out or not and i mm, i really hope i don't regret the decision of not cutting it out because I was being lazy. I just wanted to be lazy. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. So we're gonna get my Bitmoji up here and I'm really excited about it. Also, I can tell that I haven't done much today because my battery isn't even close to dying. And y'all know, every time I come in here, I end my videos by saying my battery's dying. My battery's not dying today. <laughs> I think it turned out so sick and cute. From looking at it now, I would have not done yellow letters. But it's too late. They're up there. It is what it is. But I think it's so sick and cute. I love it. Okay. I'm actually eating me a little snack right now because I needed one. I was about to have an anxiety attack. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, oh, I think we set this room up. I think we did it. I'm proud of us. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I hope you enjoyed my overalls because I love them so much. Also, here's another look. My little feeling station because it makes me so happy. So, yes, we'll be back for classroom step day five super, super soon. I'll show you guys what's in this box. I'm gonna open it up and then we're leaving. Woo! All right, we're getting ready to head out of here. I just wanna show you guys what Office Depot sent over to me. So first, everything came in this big old Office Depot bag. I'm actually gonna take it home. I just, I just put all my junk that I brought here in it to take it home with me because I wanna keep it at home because Office Depot sent it to me and it's so exciting. So they sent over this whole like classroom bundle. I'm gonna gift it to um, another teacher because Obviously, my room is already decorated, but this is so sick and cute, and I'm so thankful for it. So, it came with the, like, the accent pieces of the fish, the nameplates fish. Oh, hold on. Nameplates, the accent pieces, borders that go along with it, all these early learning posters, which is so amazing. I thought about almost turning my dramatic play into a classroom, so I might actually save it for that um, birthday celebration, a welcome, like, everything you need to start your classroom which is so stinking amazing i do think actually i'm going to keep this and we might do like a classroom um dramatic play i wish i would have done it for back to school obviously then they can like run their own classroom and see how i run my classroom but i didn't think about that well i didn't have the stuff for it i'll say that and then they sent over these calls of the world crayons calls of the world markers these are quality um pencils which they look super stinking cool. I'm gonna keep these. These pastel markers, which are so cute. These metallic ink um, pens. And also this real space um, little caddy. So I'm so excited about it. Thank you so much, Office Depot. I don't know if they watch my YouTube videos. I know they're on my Instagram. So thank you so much. Oh, and this tracing paper and a planner. They sent all those things. So super excited about it. I'm closing up my tripod right now. My little backpack is in the area of my where my tripod goes so we'll just put it right here but yes and then this is like something else i need to film so i'm just gonna stick it on the floor something funny about me i don't i can't leave a mess it makes me so nervous i think that's why like i rush classroom setup in a way because i'm just like oh it's a mess everywhere and i can't take it so like i have to get this um, so like I have to, I have to get this off my table to leave and not think about it. <laughs> Load all this trash into my wagon, pull my wagon. I actually parked closer today, which is like super stinking good. So I don't have to like walk really far, which is great. But y'all, I feel like the room is set up and it makes my heart so sick and happy. I'm so excited for the school year. It was so crazy. I feel like today it hit me like, whoa, Jamaica, like you're not... Like, for example, one of my little girls last year, her name was Kinley. And I know Kinley and her mom watches all my videos. Like, I had to have a moment where I was like, Kinley's not coming back. Like, it's going to be different kids. And that's so sad to me. Also, I put these right here. They're from Lakeshore. I love them so stinking much. They calm your body when you walk by. I don't care. Um, but, yeah, I had to have a moment of being like, whoa, Kinley's not coming back. Like, it's going to be new kids. So, I got a little, like emotional but then i was like you know what it's okay it's gonna be great it's gonna be great it's gonna be great it's gonna be great so yes i'm gonna let my chair down again my chair was backwards and that made me nervous so and i want to let it down some so you don't see it so good girl not my chair not going down okay not my face on that clip. All right. We've done another day. Now we have all this trash here. But we did it. I'll see y'all for classroom setup day five, right? Yes. I'll see you guys back here for classroom setup day five. Bye, guys. Mm.